Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to check out this, I'm going to do an unboxing of this of this Universal Laser Parking Assistant. I got it off of Amazon. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's going to shine a laser down when I want to park my truck. So here it is for sale on Amazon. It's $28. It's only got 712 reviews. And it's out of stock right now. Okay, so you open it up. It's not super big. So this is a little adapter. If you want to install it in a light. If you want to get your power for it. So you would take one of your light bulbs out of your garage door opener and screw this in. I've got a plug in, so I'm not going to have to use that, but I will show it to you. Okay, there's the power supply. And here's the type of plug it needs. Looks like output is 5 volts at 0.5 amps. Okay, and here is the little adapter. And we've got this, we got some mounting screws and some instructions. So let's look at here's the here's the key. These are the little lasers. Now we're not going to want to point those at our eyes or anything. There's a big warning label on here. So this is pretty plasticky, but I'm not too worried about that because once you get these set, so yeah, this is all plastic in here. But it feels okay. You know, it almost looks like they 3D printed these. I don't know much about 3D printing, but kind of looks like it. But then we got this really long cord here. We got this adapter, but it looks like the the power supply plug would just plug into here. Yeah, that's a really nice connection. So I'm guessing this is to power two different ones. So it's like a splitter. So now you would have two power things and you could power this one. You could power maybe another one. So that's kind of a nice design because this is a really long cord. So if you were getting power from one garage door, you could run this all the way over to the other garage door. Let's look at the directions. So I was really looking for some kind of different laser. I've got, I've got one. I got one that Amazon sells, and it's just a little dot, and the dot's really hard to see. So I wanted to try something different. So let's just go over dimensions real quick. This thing's really small. So two and three fourths, maybe inch and a quarter. You know, it's not very tall at all. And it's just really, really lightweight. Okay, so I got an extension cord. We're going to plug this thing in. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I was wanting. I, that's, I like it already. Uh, it's more than a dot. And I can, t I can turn those. See how I am I can just turn but one video showed like to line up your car you can turn one this way and then have one like this and then well as you you have to readjust as you as you as I raise it up those get a lot bigger that's what I'm really wanting. I need something I can see. Yeah, I think I'm really going to like this. These uh, seem to like they hold their position pretty good. Like, okay, these. I'm not sure if that turns. That's not really tightening anything. But yeah, you don't want to look at those. Um, one thing. So 
it doesn't have a motion sensor. So maybe it would be a good idea to come on with your, so your light would only be on when your garage door is on opening. Um, that maybe this may be a good idea. Otherwise my old one had a motion detector. That way the lasers are not on all the time. So if I just go up here and plug this in, these lasers are going to be on all the time, which your kids could inadvertently come around and look up at them or something. But I'm going to go out to the garage and give them a try. Okay, so I'm still in the in the in the basement. I'm shining these on the wall about maybe 10, 12 feet away from me. Look how big that laser beam gets. And it's really bright. Okay, here's what I'm currently using and I just don't like it. It seems like it comes out of adjustment. And I got them always constantly having to reset it. And I bought these a while back. See how they have a motion detector on them? It turns those two laser beams on when you move and you get power from a receptacle. My wife's car, there's that little dot from that old laser. And it's really, really hard to see. I know I've got a napkin holding up, but you really can't see it. And see how it went off? Because it's on a motion sensor. It only comes on when it sees motion. Okay, so first I want to show you. So that's where my old laser was. It's pretty far away from the garage door opener. So you will need that long, uh, I'm glad it's got a long cord on it. Even if I plug it into one of the lights, it's still gonna have to come forward quite a bit so that I can see it. So if anybody's ever looking for a really neat idea, these are motion sensor lights. You just screw into a, a lamp socket and this is just plugged in by my garage door. So anytime I walk into my garage, this sees motion and turns this light bulb on. That's just enough light for me to reach over and grab a uh, something I need or to turn the light switch on. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bulb farthest away from me because I get out of the truck on the left side. So let's undo the right bulb. Screw that in. I like using this because that way the lasers will only be on when these lights are on. So before you pull your truck out, measure how far back, like park your truck normally in your, in your, in your garage and then measure how far back, like where you're going to want it to shine because you want the laser to go straight up above where you want it to shine. So I, that's about 52 inches back for me from the, my bumper. So you can see my old one I took off, it was too far back. I need to be up here so that it's shining down with my, uh, where my truck is. Okay, so I took that one light out, screwed that uh, adapter in, plugged it in, routed the wires up here. They come with a really long wire that goes from here to the laser. And I just put a screw about halfway through to help hold the wire up. So I zip tied it there, zip tied all the excess right here. And like I said, I wish it came with a uh, motion detector, but so you have to give up one of your light bulbs so that it just comes on with the garage door. Here you have the laser installed and down here, look how big and, wa and wide those laser lights are. That's really nice. So I went over to the right a little bit, so more over towards the driver's side um, because right up the center might be a little harder for me to see, but I'll see how this looks inside the truck. Maybe it's easier for me to see over by the steering wheel and that. So I know this model is really popular on Amazon, but these lasers just aren't powerful enough in my opinion. And but I do like it has a motion sensor on it. And I've had this for about 10 years, so they've, they've worked. It does come with battery backup, but I've never used that. But yeah, just not powerful enough. Okay, so now this becomes the tricky part because you gotta use a ladder and your lasers are up there. You may wanna use like a little stick or something, but you're not gonna be able to, so I've got the truck right where I want it. And I've gotta move those lasers where I'm gonna want them. They're already showing up pretty strong. Okay, so I moved the lasers. I'm going to see if that looks good inside. Wow, inside the truck, it looks awesome. That is so nice. Really, really easy to see. Um, I could 
I'm probably gonna leave them right there. I could put a little something, so it would be nice to have a reference. So maybe I'll move them like into the center of this, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes it is nice to have a reference because that will be kind of hard to to pinpoint every time. But if I can put that crisscross like on a point. So I moved them. I'm going to try this edge. Edge of the of the dash and see if that works. Okay, so I'm going to simulate pulling in. Here come the marks. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. And you can pick anywhere. You could pick up here. Uh, something that you can get a point of reference with. Okay, so there you have it. I'm very pleased with these. I'm glad I bought them. The only thing is you do give up one of your lights so that they are not on all the time. Otherwise, if you just plug it into that outlet up there, those lasers are going to be on all the time. So again, this is just a dad. This was kind of an unboxing and kind of a how to install. So if you could, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.